welcome to another edition of Center Stage Suites. Today, our musical inspiration is The Music Man, and we will be making homemade strawberry no-churn ice cream. I chose an ice cream for this because for those of you who are familiar with this show, they spend so much time in this show talking about going to their 4th of July ice cream sociable. And it occurred to me the other day that you never actually see anyone making or eating ice cream during this show. So I figured let's fix that and make some. <laughs> For those of you that don't know the show, it tells the story of Harold Hill, who is a traveling salesman slash con man who comes to the small town of River City, Iowa, and he comes in selling the idea of a boys band uniforms and instruments. And usually he does this and dodges out of town before the stuff arrives with everybody's money. But this time around, he tries to knock the local music teacher off her feet, marrying the librarian, and um, ends up you know, falling in love for her and becoming a changed man. And it's a really sweet, like very traditional, uh, old school Broadway love story. So let's get started on our strawberry ice cream. In my saucepan here, I have three cups of sliced strawberries and one cup of granulated sugar. I'm gonna put it on the stove over medium heat until it boils and starts to reduce so that we get a nice strawberry syrup and that's gonna be the base for the strawberry flavor of our ice cream. Our strawberries and sugar mixture has come off the stove. I'm gonna send it through a fine mesh strainer and then after it goes through, we're gonna take the bowl that has the syrup in it and put it in the fridge while we make the rest of the ice cream so it can cool. We've strained the strawberries, so now this is going to go in the fridge and just cool while we make the rest of the ice cream. So now let's do the base of our ice cream. And the great part about this is you can take this base and really add any flavor combination to it to mix and match your ice cream flavors when you make ice cream at home. We start with 16 ounces of whipping cream. We'll add in 14 ounces of sweetened condensed milk and two teaspoons of vanilla. And like I said, from there, you can go anywhere you want with other flavors. So we're gonna start with whipping up the whipping cream with our electric mixer. We're gonna start it on a low to medium speed and slowly increase it. If you start too quickly, it'll just spray whipping cream everywhere. So start slow and then as it starts to thicken, you can start um, speeding up the mixer. We've whipped up the whipping cream so it's nice and it's getting these soft peaks on it. So that's the time we wanna stop and add in two teaspoons of vanilla extract and 14 ounces of sweetened condensed milk. So you wanna make sure that you really scrape the can and get it all out of there. And now we're gonna give this another mix. Our strawberry mixture is now cooled down. Um, a little tip, if it's not cooling as quickly as you'd like, you can always pop it in the freezer for a little bit. I like to check mine with a candy thermometer just to make sure that it has actually come down to room temperature because if it's warm, it could actually curdle the milk products that we're about to add it into. But um, this is ready to go, it's nice and cooled, and we're just gonna pour it in and mix it up. to go through and scrape it up around the sides just to make sure that you get it all completely mixed in because as you can see there are some spots that are still white and we want them to all have that nice pink color. got a nice uniform pink color it's ready to go so we are going to put it into a um, if you have a bread pan that is the ideal size for this um, it doesn't have to you don't have to spray it pre-treat it with anything just a simple bread pan is good and we are just gonna pour our mixture right in oh look at that isn't that beautiful just make sure you scrape your bowl get all of it out 
And then we're just gonna cover it with a little cling wrap and make sure as you're putting your cling wrap over it, you wanna make sure that it actually is sitting directly on top of your ice cream mixture. That's gonna help prevent freezer burn. And then it just goes in the, uh, the freezer for four hours and then it'll be nice and set and ready to eat. Into the freezer for four hours. Our ice cream has been in the freezer for about four hours now, so we're ready to eat it. So let's just take the film off of it and let's scoop it up. So you can see it's nice and soft right now. Um, if you were to leave it in overnight, it does get very hard, so you'll wanna give it a little bit more time to um, soften, but right now it's just at that perfect ice cream consistency. All right. It'll have to come off the uh, scoop here. Maybe a little bit more, maybe that'll help it. Beautiful. So, um, for storing it, you just bring the film back over and just make sure, again, that it's kind of really touching the top of the ice cream. So really take the time to pat it down and then it just goes back in the freezer. If you're the kind of person that likes chunks of strawberries in there, you could of course full, uh, chop up and fold in some strawberries before you put it into the freezer. All totally optional and totally customizable to your tastes. If you enjoyed today's episode and this recipe, please be sure to uh, subscribe to our YouTube channel, follow us on Facebook and Instagram at Center Stage Sweets, and visit us at centerstagesweets.com for more recipes and tips. And if you wanna help us to keep the oven on, you can now become a Patreon supporter and, ex and receive exclusive recipes. Have a great day. See you next time. Mm.